Chad, how was it? It wasn't too bad. Yeah? Not too bad. Yeah. All right, so if I could get everybody to form a single file line and then just follow me to the gym and then we'll conduct the PT test over there, okay? We're gonna be doing the written and the physical test. We'll start with the physical test. It's uh, pretty brisk outside, so let's see how they do. Um, we're gonna be in the unit, but it's gonna be pretty cold for them. So it'll be interesting. All right, so um, you guys could stretch out for a few minutes, get warmed up. We're gonna do the push-ups and sit-ups first in here, and then after we're done with that, we're gonna go outside and we'll do the mile and a half and the 300 meter sprint, okay? If you're gonna rest, rest in this up position. If at any point that knee goes down, you're gonna stop at that number, okay? Does everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any questions? Yes, sir. No? Okay, so this side is gonna be holding a fist. So lay completely on your stomach and hold that fist out, okay? This side get in a push-up position. So again, you have to complete 15 in one minute. Go. Holders, make sure you're counting out loud. Three, four. You guys are at 20 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna go down the middle. Give me your last name and the amount that you did. Okay, so this is how I want the sit-ups done, okay? And release your fingers behind your head, okay? When you go up, make sure that the elbows are passing the plane of this knee right here, okay? If you barely go, like right here, it's not gonna count, okay? That elbow has to pass the plane of the knee. When you go down, make sure the shoulder blades are touching the floor, okay? Again, if you guys are gonna rest, rest in the up position. So you guys have to complete 27 sit-ups in under one minute, okay? Um, you guys don't have to do a, like a slow and controlled sit-up. You guys can go as fast as you want as long as you guys are doing them properly. Does everybody understand that? Yes, yeah, okay. Ready, set, go. All right, so while you guys are stretching, just uh, go ahead and open your ears. So it's gonna be three laps around the whole track, okay? At no point you're gonna cut into any of these lanes up here. It's gonna be the whole entire track, so three laps, okay? So once you finish your first lap, it's gonna be a half mile, okay? Second lap is gonna be a mile at that second hash mark, and you guys are gonna finish at that 1.5 over there, okay? So it's gonna not gonna be right here, Two, three, four, the fourth hash mark, okay? Not the last one, second to last, cool? Does everybody understand that? You guys need to run this in 15 minutes and 54 seconds. If you guys run about five minutes every lap, you guys should be good to go, okay? I'll give you guys your time once you guys pass. And does anybody have any questions? No, sir. No? Everybody good to go? Yes, sir. All right, let's go ahead and line up. Ready? Set, go. You're at 
Hey buddy, bring it in real quick. All right, cool. So while you guys are running, did you see that 300 hash mark over there? Yes, so I want you guys to meet me over there, okay? Yes, sir. North, please. All right, so we just sent one gentleman home. Um, the reason we sent him home is because he failed uh, two parts of our PT test. Usually when they fail two parts of our PT test, um, we send him home and have him reschedule a, another PT test. So if he would have just failed one, we would have moved him on and he would have had to redo the PT test anyway. But um, we just give him a little bit more time, uh, tell him what they need to work on. This gentleman, he failed his push-ups and sit-ups. He missed his uh, sit-ups by six. He missed the uh, mile and a half by one minute. He got 16.54. So, you know, I usually tell him, look, you know where you're at. You need to know where you need to be. So give yourself a little bit of time and come back and retest with us whenever you're ready. 49. Fifty nine, sixty, sixty one, sixty four, sixty five. It's about nine twenty three now. I want you guys back over here at 10 o'clock, okay? Uh, we're gonna do the written test. So, that takes about an hour after that with us. We're gonna do the fingerprints, okay? Um, does anybody have any questions? All right, so usually after uh, we complete the physical test, we sign them up for the written test. So they, they complete that in the same day. So, turn to section one. Section one is gonna be your written test. Okay, in this section of the exam, you'll be provided with situations that require the use of basic arithmetic. You'll read each situation and solve the problem and enter your answer in the space provided in the test booklet. Can everybody pass their tests up to the front, please? Okay, so I'm gonna pass this out right now. Um, you need to find your name and then sign in, okay? <laughs> well, we have uh, different papers, so just don't sign out. Make sure you have your name on it. study that study guide, I promise you guys will pass. So go to the interest card email that we sent you and study that. You're gonna have to pay for it, but you know, it's, it's worth it. What do you need to get? Like for the 67 and the You get 70. 70. So you just miss it by a few. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. So just tell us a little bit about yourself, what your hobbies are, and uh, why you joined the state police, or why you joined the state Hi, I'm Brittany Salazar. I'm getting my bachelor's degree in criminology now in May from UNM. Um, I've been playing on the UNM women's rugby team for four years, so that's pretty interesting. Most people don't know what it is, but it's a really great sport. Rugby? Rugby? I'm just kidding. What's rugby? Yeah. <laughs> um, I've always lived in Albuquerque, New Mexico, which is the main reason I wanted to work for a department in New Mexico, whether it be state or Albuquerque or something like that. I decided to go bigger. Work state wise. Um, I used to want to go to law school, but I decided since studying criminology that I wanted to do more law enforcement instead. So that's why I decided to do policing. Um, it's way better. Yeah, it's, it's more it's in the <laughs> But that's about it. Uh, that's what's uh, the beauty about state police. You can do pretty much anything you can think of. I mean, even if you think of something that we don't have, I mean, we'll probably get it. Just if there's an, an idea, more times than not. I mean, that's how things happen. So uh, you guys made a good choice. But right now, just get your fingerprint cards and your IDs, and then we'll get ready to go do your fingerprint, okay? Louis Martinez, I'm from Espanol, New Mexico. Um, an officer named Carlos Vigil, uh, he's a recruiter. He, um, he inspired me throughout my whole high school career too, so you know, try to follow in his footsteps. So he uh, made a good career choice as being a state police officer. Um, <clears throat> he told me that if 
one of the best uh, academies in the country and um, best retirement plan too. So uh, really great benefits as well. Feel great. Feel uh, it was uh, it was hard in the wind and fingers are tingling now. So it, it was it was well worth it. it was, feel pretty good about myself now. Um, passed it. So next on to the next uh, the next test, which is I think polygraph. So. license. Can I keep these? Hmm. Or do you need to copy this or do you need this back? Uh, I need GD214. Yeah, I need, I need that back. Okay. I need copies for your <laughs> the other ones. <laughs> oh, I'm getting my, gift, my debit card, man. All right, so uh, I'll send you back to the lobby. Just uh, start on this, make sure you read the instructions very carefully, right here, mm -hmm. okay? You've never been a police officer before, correct? Yes. All right, so there's a section here, just for police officers. You do not need to fill that out. Other than that, make sure there's no blanks. If nothing applies, you just put any. I think there's a question about being pregnant, so you're not sure about that. So just put like any for that stuff, right? All right. So uh, questions for police officers is right here. And it's gonna end on the second to last page right here, okay? So I don't need to do that. Yeah, so okay. you can leave that blank, but make sure you do the application review from here all the way into the back, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, you can take that pen. So now we just make copies of all the documents that they bring. You have them bring like their social security, um, birth certificate, high school diploma, uh, college transcripts, stuff of that nature. We put it in their file, you know, chief reviews their file. And then later he'll review it, and then they decide if he wants if they want him in the academy or not. But today, basically, all it is is the polygraph test. So we have them bring all their documentation, just like I explained. Um, after that, they we send them into the lobby to fill out the pre-polygraph questionnaire. And all that is is just basically a review of their their past history, you know, um, drug history, um, criminal history, um, ethics questions, all that stuff. Um, that's about it. After they're done with that, the polygrapher will come and get their packet along with their folder, which has their application. They compare the two, and then they'll be ask them questions based off of the, the two documents. The polygraph, it was a little intimidating at first. I mean, um, but after when he started talking on like what questions I, I was gonna be asked, I mean, it kind of eased, kind of eased up. So um, it was, I think it went pretty well. In the like the worst part is where they put that that cuff, a pressure cuff on you. So um, yeah, still still <laughs> same nerves. So I mean, same questions still. So I mean, I don't know why I was nervous, but I don't know when they put that stuff on you. It's just kind of ah yeah, it gets you nervous. You should be good to go. We'll do your fingerprints now. You should be all set. So pretty much the next process after this. I'll let you know the phase that we're going to drop you into, it just depends on uh, when Captain decides on the dates. Mm -hmm. But the next phase is obviously going to be all panel psych cements. Okay. But I'll send out your background now, it usually takes about a month to come back, so you should be hearing back from me within a month. So if you have any questions, feel free to just give me a call. Okay. Cool. And welcome back to Santa Fe. You guys made it this far in the stage, the stage of the process. Um, today again, we're going to do your psychological test, like I said. Six tests, it's gonna be a long day. Hopefully you guys brought snacks. Dr. Cave is gonna be doing your one-on-one -on -one interviews. Do not leave, even if you do your one-on-one -on -one interviews with Dr. Cave and your oil panel, do not leave until you talk to one of the recruiters, either Officer Carlos Herrera, Officer Carlos Vigil, or me, because we need to get you set up for your medical, and we're gonna try and get you fitted for uniforms today as well, okay? Uh, my name is Justin Ray Madison. Uh, I'm 25 years old, and uh, the reason why I wanted to join State Police is because uh, family means a lot to me. 
um, and including family, uh, th that includes my community and, and my state as a whole. Uh, I love New Mexico and all that it's done for me, and I feel like you know I want to enforce the law and uh, be a part of a, a an environment, a brotherhood that's bigger than I am, um, something that I can grow in and, and be grow as a person and as an officer. You have everything? Yes, sir. Right? Everybody have something to try on right now? Yes, sir. All right, so you need to try on your PT shorts, sweats over that, Just this shirt. Sweatpants, small. What size? Small sweatpants. We don't have any small sweatpants? No. Okay. No? A medium, you'd be good in a medium, man. Because uh, it'll be too short. Do you need bottoms as well? Yes. 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 Alright, so short sweats over that shirt, sweats off over that. We good on that? Good. Alright, follow me. <laughs> Your drawings, you done yet? Just about. Who's drawing? What size gloves do you fit? 50 there, Ron. Extra large. XL? Yes, sir. Alright, Rollins, go change back out. Fold everything back the way it was, get your suit on. Is that what you wanted? Yes. After they're done with their oral panel, what we do is we go to the our program right here and we calc and lock everything. And then after we're done with that, we'll bring them in here and we'll set them up for their medical examination. So usually we have them in Santa Fe and Albuquerque and we have three locations in Albuquerque. So uh, we try to accommodate the people that are staying in Santa Fe and if people are unable to make it to Santa Fe, we'll just send them to Albuquerque. So if they're headed down south, we'll usually send them up to Albuquerque just so that they could go to their medical evaluation and head home after that. Um, so again, after we set them up, we'll have them sign their their um, conditional offer of employment. And after they're done with, with that, we'll take their picture, we'll upload it to the tracker, just so that it's all good to go for chief selection. Chiefs will uh, be able to see what they look like and um, you know go through their file and see the pros and cons of the applicant. I'm Sergeant Jake Garcia. I'm assigned to the New Mexico State Police Training and Recruiting Bureau in Santa Fe. My primary duties is I'm the training sergeant in charge of the State Police Recruit School. This morning we're having the pre-orientation for the 93rd Recruit School. And the pre-orientation is intended to do is bring the recruits to Santa Fe to the academy and meet with the training staff and myself to give them a brief overview of what they need to expect or prepare for for the 93rd Recruit School. They'll also meet with our human resources individuals who will talk to them and give them instructions as far as the documents and um, forms and sheets they need to bring with them the first day of recruit school. That way they're um, ready to give all the benefits to their family members and everything while they're assigned here for the 22-week school. So real quick, um, congratulations on making it right to this point. So uh, still a long route, yes. still a long road to go, right? So training simple. I'm Sergeant Garcia. I'll be your training sergeant. So from here on out, I'm straightforward. I'll tell you exactly how I think and what I think and how it goes. Some of you ain't gonna be here in December. Plain and simple. I mean, the guy sitting right next to you, he might not be here. So 30 of you are supposed to start. Um, I'd love to graduate 30, but plain and simple, we won't. All right? So some of you won't be here, some of you will go home, some of you will get hurt, some of you will come up with excuses to leave. All right? It's just the nature of the game. This career isn't for everybody, and you'll realize that once you get here. Um, 
you'll meet my staff here later on in, in a little bit, but for the, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do the PT assessment, all right? So everybody brought their stuff with you, right? Change your clothes and everything? Sir. Yes. Throughout today, I expect yes sir, no sir. If you're asked a question by anybody, I expect you to speak up, all right? If you're not loud, and you've never been loud, you need to find it, all right? You need to start being loud. You need to start being heard, all right? If we ask a question or if anybody asks a question, you need to treat them with be respectful, hands in no pockets, you know what I mean? Eye contact, you need to be loud with them, all right? Um, if anybody asks you to do something, you need to hustle, all right? There's no walking, all right? So this starts everything. This is the beginning of your 25-year career for the ones that graduate in December, all right? So be happy that you're here, be glad that you're here, all right? But everything is a hustle, all right? There's no dragging feet. If you have questions, ask, okay? I'm a sticker on the chain of command, okay? So if you're gonna ask a question, you need to ask one of these individuals the question first before you ask me, all right? If you come and ask me a question, I'm not gonna even answer you, all right? You need to give these guys the opportunity and the chance to answer your question before you come and ask me a question. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any other questions, make sure you ask one of these four individuals right here. You'll meet them here in a little bit once we get back from the PT assessment. But everybody has their stuff in their car. Go grab your, is that yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, well, you have all your stuff with you here? Yes, sir. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up, we're gonna go to the locker room, we're gonna change in the locker room, all right? There's a female locker room, there's a male locker room. Um, 10 minutes to change, all right? Let's get your, out of your clothes, bag your clothes, get in your PT stuff, and then we'll go outside, we'll load up in vans. We're gonna go to Ortiz Middle School and we'll do the PT assessment there. We'll come back and give you the opportunity if you want to shower or if you just want to get back into your clothes and get started with the day. We'll leave that up to you all, right? If one showers, everybody waits, all right? So it's a group, okay? So no questions? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. My name is Kimber Espinosa. I'm from Rio Soto, New Mexico. Uh, I just graduated college from Western New Mexico University. Uh, I went there to play softball, and I just ended up finishing my education. Yeah. Safe Lease has this tradition, pride, and honor that I just found so intriguing. Um, I think that state police officers carry themselves at a high standard, and if I was going to do law enforcement, I wanted to be part of the best, so that's why I decided to join. Uh, my name is Ariel Green, and I'm from Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Um, state police has a lot of options, so as far as after two years, you can transfer, you can go to different divisions, you can promote, and they have a lot of good values where they take care of their officers. My answer. What well, was your time? 11 15. 11 15, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Justin Maese. I am from Deming, New Mexico. I, I stay physically fit. Uh, that's just a kind of a hobby of mine. I've always taken an interest in physical fitness. Now, the physical fitness part for this, what I'm uh, training for, is a whole lot different than what I've been training for in the past. Um, went to school at UNM, uh, a little bit at NMSU, uh, and that's pretty much it. I have a uh, background in biology, minor in chemistry, so so not really a law enforcement background per se, or military background for giving that matter. Hey, good job, man. You too. <laughs> Okay. Yes, sir. That's 1201. What's your time? Hey, you already ran. 1132, sir. Griego. Griego. Yes, sir. May I get my water? Yes, 1132. Yes, sir. My name's Emilio Griego. I'm from Yuma, Arizona. Physically, I feel like I'm ready for the academy. I've done all that I can and keep working on it so that I'm prepared for that. Is everyone ready? Yes, yes sir. sir. Go. We'll run them through a uh, PT assessment. Um, that allows us the opportunity to see where everybody is on a physical standpoint when it comes to the PT program. Um, it's also scores that I use to track their progress throughout the recruit school um, for their PT assessments. Does anybody have anything in their bags that is not allowed to- Quit moving around! Move.